last mile technology. What is that? Basically, service companies, for example, TM of Malaysia right, and other companies, let's say Telecom, um, Belgium, for whatever reason, I'm thinking Marwan Salai and his, you know, uh, sprinkly hair, right? So, TM Malaysia and Telecom Belgium, for example, right? they have some kind of communications channel in which they can communicate with each other, right? So, anyway, sure you see it, all of these service companies have some kind of line that connects their communications channel, that connects their devices, <coughs> meaning their substations and etc. But uh, as is the case of you using the highway, right? The highway is, uh, you can use the highway and you can use it really quickly, meaning you can go from one point to another really quickly using the highway, right? But you don't have the highway getting to the front of your house, right? The same goes with communication channel, right? There is a limit to which <coughs> the high speed networks will stop, right? And from that point where the high speed communication stops to your home, <coughs> we call that the last mile problem, meaning you cannot access the high speed communications network. So what do you do? You engage with a service company and say, I want some kind of a service. What is that service? We call it a last mile technology service. I call it last mile technology. And there's several versions of last mile technology, right? For example, uh, for wired, we have several. I'll just write it here, yeah? For wired, we have, for example, we have ISDN, we have DSL, we have uh, lease lines, and needless to say, <coughs> some of these will require, because it's provided by some kind of service provider, right? the service provider have the right to uh, incur some kind of fees to you meaning they will uh, actually say to you hey you know what uh, you want to use my service you can but you have to pay a certain amount you have to pay a certain fee right and uh, rightfully so meaning that's only logical uh, another is cable uh, base right so you maybe maybe you can think astro here and for dsl you can think it's digital subscriber line it's uh, uh, combination of this actually a group of several technologies digital subscriber line in fact a lot of whatever services we have in Malaysia are digital subscriber line right the services offered by TM and Astra these are all digital subscriber line meaning we subscribe to certain service right uh, and then we also have wireless ones right for example we might have you might have heard of WiMAX <coughs> and then MMDS. For both of these, you can actually read through in your slides, but basically WiMAX is, a, is where they use the microwave signals. And to be, to be able to provide you with the service of wireless communications from one point to another, which is called the last mile technology, these companies, these service companies, have to erect towers. Right? And these towers are not cheap, they're expensive. Right. Not only that, they also have to have some kind of a license to operate. Same goes here, right? And so to be able to do that, they have to pay certain fees. They have to come up with certain uh, amount of money to be able to uh, give service to you, right? And so they incur some kind of um, fees for you to use the services as well, right? And so that is the last mile problem and the last mile technology, right? And uh, next, we'll go and review about um, the usage of these specific services um, and how do you actually get to the to the technology, digital subscriber line technology and whatnot, in order for you to be able to use the communications channel provided by the service companies. You see, inside your network, right, you can use your own cable. You can come up with your own cable, right? You can use. Whatever, whatever Ethernet cable or whatever to 
to connect several computers or devices together to connect your printer and smartphones and computer right but to be able to access things from the outside world let's say you want to go to Facebook or whatever you must engage a certain company right and when you engage a certain company they will uh, give you a certain service but you have to pay a certain fee right and they will somewhat control your usage of the internet right and so we'll talk about that later